Hi, my name is Chris Gillyfor. I'm an MFA directed candidate at the School of Theater here at UNCG, and I'm joined by my directing partner. Hi, my name is Ayana Huffington, and I am a recent UNC graduate. We were the co-directors for the world premiere production of The Jubilees, a kind of sort of adaptation of Stripper with Dooley by Memphis Moore playwright Callie Anderson. And we're here today to talk about our process. There's this broader conversation happening at UNCG right now about how do we best look after the interest as a minority serving institution uh, of students of color and gender nonconforming students at UNCG. And the big part of that is questioning what stories are we telling, what voices are we uplifting in our season programming, and which directors are we assigning to these plays, and how does that or does that not serve uh, these students who come from a lived experience that may be very different from that of their directors. We started looking up stories that um, kind of sought more Latinx voices, LGBTQ plus stories, strong female leaders, and productions that showcase the realities of minority communities. And that didn't just subject the audiences to viewing images of trauma. That is a very loaded question. The more traditional definition of uh, a director is more of the captain that steers the ship, the overseer, and makes the, the hard decisions. Ideally, the director would be like the greatest collaborator on the show who would incorporate many different voices and energies into one whole and be advocating for the audience's experience. But too often, they do feel a lot like overseers, especially when it comes to white directors directing work that was written by, for, and about Black experiences. And uh, faculty member Maya Brown rightfully raised the question when I pitched the show for the season of, would my direction of this play best serve the interests of the students? And so co-direction... Two directors working in tandem was floated as an option. This was the first time that UNCG had ever produced something that was co-directed. So we were kind of a, a, a pilot program of we're going to throw out this idea that the director has to be one singular person, has to be the captain of the boat who is making every decision. Getting set for this, Ayana framed with this question that I love and that I think I want to offer to uh, you, our viewers, and that was how best can I love you? What are the things that you need in the rehearsal room and in this design process to feel like you're being honored, uh, respected, and loved? Um, so open communication from the very beginning uh, was a huge part of how we knew that we were going to be able to always stay on the same page and be uh, working together towards the same goal. I kind of just wanted to open up that conversation of we're going to tell this story together. We wanted to make sure that we were respecting each other and supporting each other. I think there were some, uh, at least initially, some competing ideas about what that might look like. The path that we chose in terms of we are half of a team, epitomizing this theatrical idea of yes and, which basically means I'm going to take what you are offering and I'm going to build on that, gave the actors this buffet of feedback that they aren't often able to get when it's a singular director. Uh, two of our actors in a uh, debrief for uh, their acting class, during which Ayana and I were not present, they said that it felt like they were working with one director. It's not like when we were rehearsing and each of us would take uh, nights of rehearsal by ourselves so that we had full ownership of the space. Sometimes we rehearsed together sometimes. Some nights one of us was on Zoom and the other one was in person. But we all had our hands on all of the scenes. And the designers did the same thing, that hearing... Hearing similar notes framed in two different ways and just having two different brains parsing through things and offering feedback, it gave a greater degree of depth uh, of material that they could sift through to execute their design concept. You and I are two different people, right? And so we also had, <laughs> who would have thought? We also had like two different ways of training. So we were able to bring those two perspectives into our actors and give those resources to them. It's like you have learned amazing things from different people and I've learned amazing things from different people. We're going to bring different things to the table. And I think that educationally, that was probably one of the best things for our growing actors. This has created the potential uh, of a blueprint to the School of Theater as a way of doing things moving forward. Co-direction between programs, faculty members meeting 
directing in tandem with students from multiple institutions, this is more plausible than it's ever been because we showed them that it was possible to do it and on a very short time frame. We did have two great mentors uh, in the program head here of directing uh, John Gulley and Natalie Stoll, the director of the School of Theater. They were great about wanting to be in space with us. I think that's something that worked. I think having them in the room to see the way the process was working because of my own proximity to them, literal geographical proximity, and with uh, Ayana, with you up in Roanoke and commuting, there were a lot of little like hallway conversations or text messages coming to me because I was right there. The circle of communication, I think, it was well intentioned to be direct to me and to not be so formal and rigid in terms of everything has to come through email. But because we didn't have that more formal uh, loop, I, you got left out a lot. And I think that that would be the number one thing that needs to be tightened moving forward. Yeah, so I think that one of the biggest obstacles that we did have to jump over was the email server. Um, and that is primarily because, you know, I graduated, so I didn't necessarily have access to my school email. A lot of the emails that Chris would get would also go to my school email, which I did not have access for. Um, so it was a little bit of a hurdle to jump over. But also just being a young person in theater sometimes, um, it can be a little bit um, intimidating being in that space, which is something that I've, I've had to fight against, but also kind of come to terms with. That again, if the department wanted to bring in another person outside of um, you know UNCG database, um, they, you know, it would probably serve us well to make sure that we have all of our ducks in order um, before starting that communication.